Hello everybody, and welcome back to Velocity Rising, and Banks just joined the world. Can't I can't type in uh, chat or anything like that. All the people are joining now. So I was having some problems with Twitch. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't like broadcast or anything. I don't know what these two are doing with their skins. What a bunch of scrubs. So yeah, um, I forgot to show this on video, but I got this efficiency three pick, and this is I just went mining, and this is everything I got from mining. Still haven't taken damage on my armor. All of my damage has been fall damage or um gravel damage or other things. I think. So, well, actually, that's, that's the only ways. So yeah, this is spawn right now. Oh, uh, we got a bed here. Will built us another portal, and um. Oh wow, so um Come on guys, you gotta replant. Oh no wait, I think Banks was yeah, that's right. Okay, never mind. <laughs> he just left, so I didn't I didn't know I didn't know what to do. So I've got level thirty again and we're gonna try to do a pickaxe. Right now. I don't I I don't even have enough space in my inventory. I think Banks is making all the wheat into potatoes or something. Like all the potato farm into whatever. Anyway, uh, we're going to do a level 30 enchantment. Uh, hopefully we get fortune. Okay, so we got uh, we got another work pick. But that's all right, we can go mining. I'm just going to leave that there. Yeah, I think Banks was just doing a big harvest. And uh, I'm still on the golden apple kick. Uh, I'm not going to use potions for a long time, I don't think. And no one has really set up around spawn. Um, There are some temporary homes. I'm going to have to be doing that a lot. Uh, with kicking people and whatnot. So this is my house over here. My little temporary home. This is not going to be my main house at all. Um, This is just where I'm settling down so I can dump all my stuff for mining. And go mining again until I get some like good tools. I really want a fortune pick, for sure. And I should make a path or like a staircase up to here or something. Yeah, this is just like my little house. I left the door open. <laughs> Nothing too fancy. I'm pretty terrible at building, but it's just I I kind of put this on the ceiling for room, like for space. Uh, this is my chest. I have a ridiculous amount of stuff now. I need another chest. I'm gonna make all these into blocks soon as well. But yeah, so I'm kind of out of space in this chest already, so I'm gonna, we're gonna make another one here. I think we're gonna put all of our valuables in this chest. So we'll move all of our valuable items into this other chest here. Make a bunch of coal blocks. Redstone and lapis. I've got some gold I can smelt. And I can make some golden apples. Um, I have not healed yet. I'm only down to six and a half hearts. And I have a ridiculous amount of coal. I've just been Standing back and looting all of the caves of every material I see as best I can, so yep, that's a lot of coal. And that's just my um, on the go furnace, which I don't need any longer because I was using that to smelt up iron while I was caving. So I've got a lot of iron and a lot of everything, basically. So we're doing pretty good here. Alright, so... I'm actually going to make my first golden apple. Oh, I should move this into this chest as well. I'm going to make my first golden apple here. I need to... Oh, I failed terribly. One, two, three, four. And we're good. Alright, craft my first golden apple. There's no point waiting for absorption in survival mode because we don't have to fight people. So, and we're healing up a bit. 
All right. So, um, I think I'm going to make a small project first. Oh, and look at the amazing daytime. Oh, and who's that over there? That is Cork. All right. Yep. So I think for my first project, I'm going to be doing a community thing. I'm going to be making a, a little sm I'm be making a small tree farm, um, similar to the one on my Eiffel Tower world. Um, yeah, you're going to be seeing me do that a lot. <laughs> That's just how it goes. So um, I need to get, put that pick there. I'll just use the efficiency three one. I'm going to be smelting up a lot of cobblestone because we're going to need some half slabs. And, yeah, because I'm noticing I'm running low on wood. I'll probably build it a bit far from spawn. Someone put cobblestone in the water there. Is that what that is? Ah, uh, scrubs. You gotta clean up after yourself, guys. See, so, yeah, there's actually some really good terrain over here by my place. This is why I chose it. This is probably the most amazing forest biome I've seen in a long time. Yeah, it, it ends shortly, and there's a mountain biome behind it. It does extend over this way, though. Yeah, but I love I love when forests look like how they did in Alpha and Beta. Because that was just amazing. But yeah, we're going to get on with the episode here. Um, so I think I will... Yep. I think I'm going to go... I'm going to wait till I have all of my materials set up, and I'll meet you guys down by where we're going to build the thing. Alright guys, I'm back, and I'm here again at spawn, and it's turning night again. I crafted my second golden apple because I'm at eight and a half hearts, and I don't know, I'm probably going to start, uh, I might take half a heart of damage here soon, and um... Thanks to Squid over here, or Zidhan. Um, he's been working at Spawn, doing the farms and whatnot. And these community chests, they are just filled with dirt. He's flattened out some of the land up here, which I'm going to throw some torches down on, just because that's what I always do when we start these survival worlds, is I just find an area at Spawn, just torch it up for a couple days. You might be, you might, uh, I might be doing that quite a bit on the server for a long time. This UHC mode stuff, I, these, these suckers are dying, like, left and right, and I have not been that low yet, which is surprising. Well, <laughs> they, they keep killing themselves because they don't care if they die or not, they just want to have full health, the uh, cheapskates. Bash is just derping around here. <laughs> so, uh, I have some supplies. Uh, these melon seeds, I accidentally broke a melon stalk when I was chopping down melons, because I'm going to need my own melons soon. And I'll grab some pumpkins as well. Uh, okay, or I'll grab a pumpkin. I already had pumpkin seeds. But this is, uh, this is our project here that we're working on. Um, I'm trying to find a good location for it. I'm trying to find a good location for it. Will's showing off his golden apple to me. I have one too. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I want to find a good location because I know... Oh. Oh, he was really far away from spawn too. What is he doing? These guys are so derpy sometimes. Alright, well, anyways, yeah, I, I need to look for, like, an area that is not the best for shops. Because there's going to be a lot of shops at spawn, that's what spawn's all about. So I want to build it slightly away from spawn. Uh, not, not at the center of spawn. Um, so I'm looking for a place. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're just going to run around, look for a good spot. And I'm out of torches. Um, maybe down there would be good. 
Yeah, probably, yeah, down there would, well, I don't know. I'm trying to see in third person. Yeah, this, right here, this is going to be our spot for the tree farm. Make a circle of torches around it. I don't think I've taken any mob damage, just all fall damage, which is probably stupid, but, you know. Alright, so this is the area we're working with. I'm going to take out the grass. And with this design, if the trees are not on it and they haven't been replanted, it's just going to be like a regular tree farm. Like something you could have built in beta. It's not going to be like the giant um, redstone machine that puts all of your wood into a cube and then you just go through and chop it all down. And not, nothing like that. Just a starter basic tree farm so people don't go deforesting the land, escape. It'll be, it'll be, it has to be pretty big too. And um, I'm going to make it so that you can't get any of those gigantic trees, so you don't have to, like, climb up them and chop them down. Alright, so here are the materials we have. I grabbed some dirt from the spawn chests because there's a lot there. And I probably should have brought more coal or more torches at least. But I didn't... I wasn't expecting to use all of them up on spawn. <laughs> um, anyway... Uh, I'm going to dig out this little area here. And I think right there would be... Yeah, that would definitely be big enough. Then we got to dig out this. And I think I'm just going to build it all. Um, today with you guys. So, um... It's going to be half slabs. Here, just to make it look nice. So that way, the half slabs are special. And you might be like, well, what's the point of using half slabs? You could just use any other block. Well, um, grass can grow below these things, and the upside down ones. And if I if that becomes dirt, it can spread from under. And yeah, it can spread from underneath the stone, which uh, it still hasn't become grass yet. But once it can, like if you chop down a bunch of trees and it's like all dirt, this will slowly be replaced with grass again. And that's why I like these half slabs so much for these tree farms. So I think we're going to make two rows for now. Make a second one here. Um, this does, I think this might force, it might like definitely 100% sure need bone meal in order to be used. But I don't know yet. And I still got a lot of slabs. And we're going to do the rest of this out. And we need the proper lighting to go on here, of course. So the grass can regrow. And you're going to be seeing me kicking people a lot. It's annoying. People join, it creates lag, extra lag, especially just random people. So for now, I think we're just going to plant trees on the... Like every couple blocks. Yeah, I'm liking look look at that, and we made it an odd number, so that's even better. Um, this is just like yeah, this is a very very simple tree farm, but um, I'm trying to think of ways I can improve the look of this because it's just a bunch of half slabs. <laughs> I'll probably put a fence around it. You know, how much we have more slabs back at the house, so I think we're gonna do another row basically you know if you take um if you take bone meal you can just bone meal a bunch of trees in a line and then you can go through and chop all of them down uh the oak trees only work like that other trees i don't think they do let me finish off the half slabage here only got. Oh, I ran out of half slabs, but I'll go get some from the house. I need to bring back more torches and a couple other things. Basically, the idea is you line one of these rows with trees, and you can go through and bone meal all of them. And they can all grow in like a line, and you will go through and chop them down. 
But the catch is we need some sort of light form. I probably probably use glowing pumpkins. Yeah, I said I've probably used glowing pumpkins uh five, six blocks above, so we do not get some of those giant trees. So I'm gonna go to spawn now. I'm gonna go grab more torches from my house. I'll probably just take you guys with me instead of cutting again, cutting the video. We got bad guys out here. Creeper blaster a mess to clean up, so I don't want to have a creeper blow up on me. Only for that reason, I could take the hit. I've got, like, mostly protection armor. And, yeah, I... I'm pretty sure I need to make a bridge between here. I'll probably build a suspension bridge from there to there. That'd probably look pretty good. Pretty cool. <laughs> These fools are just dying like crazy. I, I don't know if they're dying purposely, if they're losing their gear on accident, or if they're just jumping into the nether just to get killed. But, I don't know. They're dying like crazy. So. People still don't know about this classic crafting option on Xbox. People... I, I get asked all the time, like, how do you do that with the crafting? Do you have a mod? And it's like, no. Alright. And... 16 sticks. 64 torches. There we go. Yep, so we're gonna, we're gonna make glowing pumpkins floating in the air. And that way, the trees will not overgrow. So we don't get the giant trees and people don't have to waste their time chopping down the big trees. I've got a couple other projects in mind. One of my main ones I'm going to be working on uh, in the late game is going to be the peaceful mob system, which I'm probably going to build somewhere out in the ocean. And, oh, I almost took suffocation damage. All right, we're back at the farm now. If we got more half slabs, we'll be able to finish, finish this up. Very tempted to eat this golden apple, but I know I probably should not. Um, okay, how many blocks? So this is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, six, seven. I think seven blocks up should do it. Actually, eight blocks up. So I gotta go get some pumpkins from spawn. And, um, yeah, we'll just see who's at spawn here. I don't think anyone is. No, there's some people. There's two, three people. Two. We got a nice pig man here. And Fash seems to have lost his iron boots. Unfortunately, no one's found carrots yet, but... Yeah, there's a lot of farm stuff going on here. And how do you make these again? Isn't it a torch underneath? Yep, that's right. We're going to need quite a few of those, actually. So, I'll probably be hanging around spawn. Getting this set up. So the trees can grow naturally, but the best way is to use bone meal. Put the tree. And you should get saplings back. I'll place the first couple. Um, uh, Jack-o'-lanterns, that's what they're called. It's been a long time since I've said that word. I'll just put a line of dirt here for now. I think I should space them out every every so often. Maybe not every block. Okay, where is the first like, block? Like right here? So I'll put one right here. And how many blocks we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we got an odd number, so 
that means there's going to be a middle. We could do every two blocks. Which probably wouldn't look the best. Or every four. So I'd be like right here. And there'd be a three block space. Yeah, it probably would look the best. And then we just take out the dirt from underneath. Slain by skeleton. These guys are really trying to get potions. Not having the best of luck. And I just realized I destroyed my only way down. I do not want to take damage. I could just eat the golden apple and jump off with the absorption. But that's not really in the spirit of things. Now is it? Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna look a little stupid uh, right now, but I think eventually I will get... Uh, I brought a sign with me too. I, I think eventually I'll turn them into glowstone. So I'll put community tree farm. It take me a long time to write on Xbox community. And on Xbox you don't have space on the sign. Community tree farm. There we go. I feel like I spelled community wrong like an idiot, but you know. So yeah, the idea is you can just chop trees. Oh, I should have put please replant on the sign as well. But hopefully people have common sense and they know what they're doing. I'll spread out some of the sap- well, maybe, I don't know if spreading out some of the saplings would be a good idea just yet. But I'll do it anyway. And we should throw around some more torches. I think I'll have torches every every time there's a pumpkin. No, yep. we're gonna we're gonna move all these saplings and put them on the only line that works right now. Because it's got the pumpkins, so they don't grow into super trees. There we go. One right here and Another torch there. And basically, that's basically the tree farm. Basically, that's basically the tree farm. That's the tree farm for today. Um, I might try to finish it up with the pumpkins, and if not, we'll move on to the next project. <laughs> oh man, golden apple number three. And wait for it. Golden apple number four. Um, let's just say it's not smart to build a tree farm at nighttime. Some spiders jumped me. They weren't even looking in my direction either. Some pretty laggy spiders, actually. Ah, uh, the rain. Wouldn't be an SMP server if it wasn't raining constantly. But I finished up the tree farm. So this is what it looks like. Uh, I turned all the pumpkin heads inward against each other. Yeah, you, you can't really tell from the bottom. They all look the same. That's good. I didn't know. You didn't even notice that. But all their heads are turned inward on each other, so you can't see any faces. And now, you can... These are actually growing very good on their own. They just grow inside like that. They grow in like a row. And a gr they grow in a row. Rhyming it up. And I'll just do that for now. Back down another half a heart because suffocation damage. Um, so I think that about does it for this episode. I think what we're gonna, we are gonna do is we're gonna travel over to Will's house and uh, let's see what Banks is doing here with his building company. He's flattening out a lot of land, He's building a snow and spruce. Interesting combination. Um, some of the guys, they, or Will went into the nether, he got brewing sands, and we need more soul sand for that nether wart farm. And, but that's, that's what we're going to be focusing on right now. What are Fashion Bed doing? They might be seven, setting up a temporary home. Oh no, they're caving down there. Right, so we're going to go over to Will's place, which is this way. And 
Oh, come on, guys. Really? If you're gonna chop down one of these trees, chop it down all the way. I turned on my music. I turned my music back on. Um, <laughs> I have not, like, had the music on in a really long time, but... I wish there was a separate option for jukebox and music music, because... Yeah, I mean, the music's nice, but... It's kind of annoying sometimes. <laughs> like, specifically UHC. And that was another thing I wanted to talk about. Ultra Hardcore... Oh, wow. I just jumped over that. UHC is going to be a bit different. We're doing, you know, Velocity Rising UHC now. And I don't know when the first one's going to be, but... We'll probably figure that out. The first one will be a race to the Ender Dragon, I'm pretty sure. With all of the server members. There's still a couple people that have not gotten on yet. And we're gonna just... Will's actually lives pretty far away. Um, we're probably gonna kill the dragon soon. Oh, I... Oh, that was four blocks. Gosh dang it, I keep... Misjudging... How high things up... How high things are off the ground. So now back down to nine eight and a half not nine and a half. Eight and a half hearts. Will seems to have set up on top of that mountain or underneath. But I don't know. So yeah he really wanted me to check out his house. I think he might be up there actually. Yeah I don't think that gravel patch is Will's house. Actually it's it keeps going on here. I'm getting some frame lag now. Oh, here's Will's place. It's got the place covered in torches. I am just the worst at UHC. I'm back down to 8 hertz. Oh, this is Will's house. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, Quark actually got in the game. He's got blue stained glass. And this dog, he's had since the start. And it will not die. It's the invincible dog. I don't even think he saw me walk up in here. But, yeah, he said I could check out his place. I don't know what he's gonna do down here. Probably gonna go into a strip mine. I must snoop in his chest. What's he got? Oh, he's got Fortune 1. I thought it was better than that. And he's got himself some diamond armor. He's, uh, getting ready for, um, you know, UHC. You wanna, like, not take damage. Yeah, I snoop at people's chests a little bit, but I, I never steal things. Um, I want to see if I can run past. There we go. Just throw up that dirt back at him. It's nice to see that people are actually getting situated on the server. And, you know, that's all for now. I think, that, I think we're done for today. Um, so, I will see you guys next time.